So in this challenge, we're going to have three books on a shelf and you can rearrange them. And so I purposefully just threw the books in here and this is how they originally oriented themselves. Um, one little trick I have is I know I need to rotate this, um, but I also want to scale it down a little bit. 0.6. Let's do that. Um, to make it sit like perfectly on the shelf, I don't know if it is or not, but instead of kind of guessing, um, you can hold the V key for vertex, which is like the little edges. And if you grab the very bottom and you find that one point, a lot of times it's in the corner for some reason. It likes to arrange itself perfectly flat on there. So, you know, it's always to the pixel perfect. Um, and then as far as these go, I don't need to do much work because I can just copy that, go to my, I'm going to put that last, go to my gray one and just paste values and then just slide it over a little, click on the green, paste values, slide that one over a little bit. Uh, I'm going to make these a little bit tighter, I think. Um, anyways, so it just makes it a little, little less work. Uh, it's not too bad. Now, as far as, well, we need to make these grabbable. If we look back at our, my little to-do, um, making them grabbable, um, not in the hat slayer, because otherwise you could wear the book as a hat. Um, okay. Um, and then all oh, that'll make sense in a little bit. So let's go ahead and collapse all this stuff. First of all, too much stuff. Okay. Um, if I, yeah, if I just type in grab, hit enter, same for this one, grab this one, grab, very good. And now for the, um, the sockets, I found it was easiest if I just make a child of this, and I'm going to call this book slot one, and then actually unchild it. Um, that way it's in the exact position where that is. And then just repeat that three times. Book slot two, unchild that. Create empty book slot three. So now we have three slots. Uh, we do, well, they're not sockets yet. Uh, let's go ahead and make those sockets. Um, let's make this. Oops, it was already on there. Socket number three. Make a socket. Now that these are sockets, they need a collider to know when to activate that socket. So I want it to be the exact same as that book. And so I'm just going to go to this book and say, hey, box collider, you're a great box collider. See, just the size of the box and everything. Why reinvent the wheel? Let's just copy that. Go to my slot one and you can click on any of these components and paste component as new. And now that slot is right in the right spot and the right size. So go to the next one, copy that component. Go to slot two and paste as new. Go to green, copy that box, slot three, and paste as new. Um, I like having the box collider right above the socket interactor. Also, it needs to be a trigger. So slot two. I don't, I don't think it has to be above it. It's just where I'm used to having it. And slot one, move it on up there, and yeah, that. Um, the books themselves, I want to make sure that the uh, they do not interact with everything because I don't want them to be hatable, wearable. <clears throat> so uncheck those. Okay. So now we have three books. We have three slots. Um, and let's just check out where we're at hit play again I'm on the quest one with the uh, link cable and get my headset not blurry okay so 
if I grab that one, I don't really like how this is holding. I'd kind of like to flip that around. Um, I mean, technically, right now you can you could call it finished if you wanted. Um, I, I just don't. That's not how I typically hold a book. I don't start with the back of it. I mean, you know, you can. It's technically done, but I do want to fix that. And so what I'm going to do is this book slot, one, two, three, I'm going to make a child on there. Uh, attach point. And then this attach point, um, it might sound strange, but I'm going to do a 180 on that because I'm also going to make the attach point on the book a 180 so that it holds correctly. And on slot one, I'm going to make that a 180 and leave the other ones not. So you can see what that looks like. Um, and then this book yellow also needs to have a attach point. And I need to remember to assign these. Uh, I think it's this should be my 180. Um, and then this book uh, attach transform is here. And the slot one attach transform is... There it is. And let's see if that actually works. If it does, we'll replicate it. If not, we'll have to fix it. Okay, it looks good on the shelf. Now when I hold it, it's holding it correctly, like I think it would be. Although that's probably the cover. Eh, we'll call this the cover. Um, but actually, if I drop it here... It's backwards because these don't have the compensation that I did for the other one. So I don't, I guess that little white box might be the cover, but we're going to call that the back page. Okay. Okay. So anyways, uh, I'm just going to do the exact same things to these. Attach point, assign the attach, attach point, make the attach point a spin 180 and do the same thing here. Attach point, do a 180, the slot uses the attach point, and we'll collapse those. And finally, the books have attach point, which is also a 180, and the book uses the attach point. Whoa, 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 whoa. There it is. Collapse those, and finally the last one. Attach point, spun around, and it should use that attach point. All right, let's see if we did it right. All right, looks good on the shelf. Looks good here. Yeah. Oops. Sorry, I just hit the microphone, but so you can put these wherever you'd like. Ta-da! That's it for now. Enjoy!